Um, good morning. I am a radiology resident in Sana San Borja Clinic in Peru. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here and thanks for this opportunity. Uh, today I will talk about the IRCs and the immunotherapy. Um, recent research Groups are studying the role of immune checkpoint inhibitor as a new type of immunotherapy. A immune checkpoint inhibitor is a type of drug that blocks certain proteins made by T cells and same cancer cells. Immune checkpoint inhibition drugs were approved for solid tumor like melanoma, non-small cell lung cancer, and kidney cancer due to recent research. This table shows the approved drugs by FDA. For example, nivolumab and pembrolizumab are program DEF1 or PD1 inhibitors, and the response pattern we examine it in our clinical cases. It, it is important to recognize that there exist different patterns of tumor response to immunotherapy, such as a partial response, progression, and serial progression. In this diagram, we see a serial progression as a particular kind of response, which is an enlargement of the tumor burden followed by regression. Now I will see the diagnosis method, um, its application in our clinical cases. This table summarizes the five response patterns. And in our clinical cases, we found four response patterns, which are the following. The first pattern was immune partial response. The immune partial response is when the tumor burden decreased by 30% or more compared to baseline, and there are no new lesions. This finding needs to be confirmed in another study four weeks later. Now I will show an immune partial response case. This is a lung cancer patient with hepatic metastasis who receives immunotherapy with nivolumab. In the CT scan before immunotherapy, we see the target lesions. In time point one, the tumor burden decreased uh, by 35%, and the next study, in time point two, 44%. Both figures compared to baseline as confirming the immune partial response. The second pattern was a stable response. This is a reduction of the tumor burden by less than 30% when compared with baseline or increase less than 20% without new lesions. Here is an interesting case of a 48-year-old female diagnosed with a carcinoma of the lung in treatment with pembrolizumab. The CT scan performed after immunotherapy revealed that tumor in the left upper lobe decreased by 12% after six weeks of treatment. The third pattern was a stable response excuse me, was unconfirmed progressive disease. This is an uh, increase in the total tumor burden of at least 20% compared to the baseline or progression of no target lesions. And the confirmation of progressive disease is required after four to eight weeks. Um, I show the unconfirmed progressive disease case. 
Mm, yeah, this is. In another case, the tumor in the right apical lobe of 64 years old male patient diagnosed with lung cancer increased by 9% after eight weeks of immunotherapy. The no target lesions um, increased five millimeters according to uh, a immune and confirmed progressive disease. And the last pattern was immune confirmed progressive disease. This is a further increase of tumor mass and increase in the sum of new target lesions by more than five millimeters in the next segment after the unconfirmed progressive disease. This is a 66 years old male diagnosed with kidney clear cell carcinoma in treatment with nivolumab. The CT scan performed before immunotherapy shows two tiger lesions in the right lung that measure 34 millimeters in total. And the next control in time point one shows an increase of more than 20% of the no tiger lesions <coughs> according to a immune and contemporary disease. The following control, time point two, shows an increase of five millimeters in the notarial lesions corresponding to a immune confirmed progressive disease. Um, to conclude, the new IRCs is an important tool that could help clinicians and radiologists to monitor immunotherapy response. And furthermore, it is important to perform serial CT scans in order to train our patient more efficiently. Thank you for your attention.